Have you ever wanted to know more about cybersecurity? Do you want to know how to get started in this new exciting career? Well, you're in the right place, so stay tuned. Welcome back. My name is Eric Bellardo, and I am a cybersecurity expert with over 30 years experience in the field. And I've worked in over 25 countries with government and private industry. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below of the videos. And let me know what you want us to, to, to talk about in this channel. In this brand new series that we're calling Eric in 7 Minutes, We'll break it down some topics into bite-sized short videos that are easy to understand and should give you some great knowledge in the topics. If you guys want longer concepts or longer explanation videos, please let me know in the comments below. But before we get to the video, let's make sure that we hit that like button, that notification button, and that little bell so you can be notified of when I upload any new content to this uh, channel. Now, let's get seven minutes on the clock. What is cybersecurity? Well, we define cybersecurity as the art of protecting networks, devices, and data from unauthorized access or criminal use and the practice of ensuring confidentiality, integrity, and the availability of information. There are two key ideas that I want you to take away from that definition. One, the art. There is no right way or one way to secure all organizations. So critical thinking is incredibly important and creative thinking is very important to securing organizations. People don't realize it, but cybersecurity is a very creative or endeavor. And the second point, confidentiality, integrity, and availability, or as we know it by its acronym, CIA. CIA, confidentiality, integrity, and availability are the building blocks to cybersecurity. So let's define those concepts. Confidentiality. Simply speaking, confidentiality is how secure or how protected the data needs to be. Integrity, simply speaking there, is how much do we have to protect the data so it doesn't change or be deleted in processing, transmission, or storage. And availability is the concept of having the data there when a user needs it. So again, Confidentiality, integrity, and availability. That is the building blocks to cybersecurity. Now, let's talk about the career fields in the field of cybersecurity. When people start in the field of cybersecurity, they see an image like this, and they think, hey, that's what I wanna do when I grow up in the field of cybersecurity. While that is a very important branch of cybersecurity, it's not everything. So in this part, I'm going to talk to you about the two main branches, the blue side and the red side. As I mentioned before, blue is the defensive side. Red is the offensive side. Now, let's start with my passion, blue operations or defensive operations. Defensive operations are all the operations we do to secure a network, a system, or a program. And those include things like firewalls, network access control, patch management, uh, endpoint detection, virus detections, and malware detections, and many other technologies that are out there to secure systems and organizations and programs. In this area, we also have the security operations centers or the monitoring nerve centers where all the information comes in. We also in those centers do threat intelligence to look at what's happening in the industry and what's happening with the bad guys in the open web and the deep web and dark web to bring information so that we are better equipped to defend against potential threats that are gonna be hitting our organizations. 
This is my favorite, favorite area, and I've been working on this for many, many years. Security operations centers, cyber fusion centers, and it's a great place to start your career. Now, let's talk about red teaming. That's the exciting portion of the cybersecurity world, and that is the penetration testing, the vulnerability assessments, and the, all the testing that we do to verify and validate that the things that we did with the blue team to secure an organization are properly secure. That's rattling the windows, rattling the doors, and trying to do everything that a bad guy would do so that we can find the vulnerability, so we can find the holes and be able to patch those things before we are attacked. These types of attacks and vulnerability tests and penetration tests can include things like phishing campaigns, vishing campaigns that's calling and doing voice phishing, um, emails that, are, that have payloads so that we can look at how secure not only the system is, but the people and the training, the security training that we give our employees and our members of our organizations so they don't fall victim to threats and malware and uh, phishing and spam emails within the organizations to introduce vulnerabilities into the organization. Now, there are other areas of security that are equally as important. Governance, risk, and compliance, your security compliance checks, your data privacy teams, and other teams. Those are equally as exciting, and I've done many of those jobs myself, so they're extremely exciting, but we'll cover that in another video. Now that you know the building blocks of cybersecurity, you know the areas of operation, now how do I get started in a career in cybersecurity? Well, in my experience, I've seen three main ways of getting into the field. Number one, colleges and universities. Now, most colleges within their computer systems uh, universities have, or departments, have a cybersecurity minor or major. Of course, there is master's degrees and doctorate degrees now in, in cybersecurity, but that's one, one way of getting into the field, studying it through a university or college. The second way of doing that is a lot of people already in the industry, system administrators, programmers, um, and different career fields that are already in that networking um, background or IT background will transition over because during their careers, they learn a lot about cybersecurity and how to secure their systems. So they transfer over to cybersecurity. So starting out in one of those base careers is a very, very good way to transition into cybersecurity. And the third way is certifications. Going and getting your A+, your Net+, your Sec+, and those types of initial certifications. And even, while it's not recommended for an intro person, but taking your CISSP or your GX certifications. And that's another way of entering, entering the, uh, the, the career field. Well, folks, I really hope you like this short three minute introduction vid video to the field of cybersecurity. So now I've got a question of the day. Are you in cybersecurity currently? And if not, why are you so interested in the field of cybersecurity? I want you to comment below and let me know. Let's start a conversation. If there's anything I can do to help anybody get in the field or that is in the field, please leave your questions in the comment. I will get to all the questions that are in the comments as soon as possible. And again, if you like uh, this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Please consider uh, liking this video and also click on that bell so that you can be notified when I upload new content. Also, stay to the end of the video and be sure to look at the cards at the end of the video. I'm going to be putting other videos in there that might be of interest to you. Till the next time, I hope you have a safe and secure day and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.